Welcome to The Influencer Show with your host, Trishon Ben Salmi. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Influencer Show, where I interview people who can help in this way you live life in a number of different ways. I'm your host, Yusef, Seven, and today we have a very special guest for us. So if you'd like to introduce yourself to your listeners and let them know a little bit about you. Sure. My name's Heather Monahan. I'm a best-selling author of the book Confidence Creator. I've got a top 100 podcast on Apple Podcasts called Creating Confidence with Heather Monahan. I have a track record in corporate America as a successful chief revenue officer and made the decision to go out on my own when I got fired back in 2017. It's absolutely amazing. And why don't you share with the listeners why you do what you do? So growing up for me, I didn't have a mentor or have anyone teaching me the hacks on how to get ahead. So four years ago, I launched my personal brand to empower people who didn't have mentors to give them the tips and tricks to get ahead in business. And that ultimately led me to becoming an entrepreneur. That's really, really interesting. And what what would you say has been like the biggest influence on you that you wish I had sooner? to always listen to your own voice over everybody else. Mm, it's definitely something that's so important. It's something that so many people would struggle with. Absolutely. And how do you prefer to influence others to change the way they live their lives for the better? You know, I, I create different content just to see, you know, how it can help others, what resonates with others. So whether it be a speech or writing a book or writing a blog or a social media post, you know, it's really just trying to put messaging into different types of content to see what connects. Mm. I definitely think that's something that's really important, just being able to then reach to like all of your audience by repurposing and just uh, getting out in you know, many different areas as possible, then you're able to have a much, much bigger impact. Absolutely. And what would you say people could do to stay motivated in moments of crisis? You just focus on your goal, what whatever your big goal is, and remember why it is that you're going after it. And when you reconnect to those two things, you know, what is it that I'm going after and why? Once you get clear on that, motivation just intrinsically happens. Mm, That's definitely something that's really important, just getting clear on your why and just having that confidence, as you said, to take that first step. Yeah, the first step is needed for sure. And why did you, why and when did you decide that it was time to start your own business? When I got fired, I had never thought of starting my own business. I always just assumed I would, my next step was to be the CEO in corporate America. So I really hadn't thought about it. So it took me getting fired to say, okay, well, who do I want to work for next? And when I thought about it, I thought I'd rather just try working for myself and see what happens. That's that's amazing. A huge, huge step. Yeah. And if you had a megaphone and you could say one thing to the world that will have a lasting influence, what would it be and why? Confidence is the one thing that can change everything for you. And in any moment, you're either creating confidence or chipping away at it. So make, a, make an informed decision. Yeah, it's definitely important because we all have the choice. So we might as well do something that's beneficial at the end of the day. Absolutely. And what would you say are like the top mistakes that people make when trying to develop their confidence? Usually it's listening to those that care about you, those that love you. They might be putting their fears and their self-limiting beliefs on you. And that really holds people back from stepping into their confidence, whether it be a parent telling you to pursue a certain career or just a friend suggesting you don't put yourself out there and make yourself vulnerable a lot of people that you think you know care about you and love you also have fears and concerns for you and they're projecting those onto you and and you always have the chance to thank them for it and continue to move on with with your goals and and that's a great way to create confidence mm, that's definitely so important just being able to simply look back on it and analyze where it's actually coming from whether it has something to do with you or it has something to do with the person 
Yeah, and it's usually it has something to do with the person. It has nothing to do with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what advice would you give to those who may be struggling to find self-confidence? Listen to the one voice that should speak louder to you over everything, and that's your own inner tuition. And if you can't find that voice, start by journaling when you're alone at night or in the morning so that you can get familiar with that voice because that really needs to be your guiding light. Mm, so de definitely just about like just getting clear really yeah and what would you say are like the top three lessons that you have learned along your journey as i mentioned listen to yourself above everything else always number two just go bigger don't think small challenge yourself to think of how you can take this idea or goal up another notch and make it even better that's a really important one and, and number three find a mentor. We live in a great day and age where you can even find mentors online. You don't have to necessarily stand next to them to learn from them. You know, there's information everywhere, but you need to access it. You need to understand it. And then you need to take action against it. Mm, definitely. Especially that's so key, just about like taking the action because at the end of the day, like if you don't take the action, you're not going to get those results. No, you never will. Mm. And what are your views on the word legacy and what legacy would you like to leave? Legacy to me is, you know, what's going to be around after you're no longer here anymore. So one of the things I'm really proud of is having the ability to go to work for myself because now I'm creating things like my book, like my podcast, like my second book that will live on forever that had I not made the jump from corporate America where I was not going to have a legacy, you know, when I was gone, that that job's gone, I'm gone, whatever, you know, there's nothing left behind. So I'm really glad that I moved into a business where I'm, I'm able to have things that will last on forever. Mm, exactly. Definitely. Definitely agree. Especially just like having the book, then regardless of happening, you're then able to have an impact and a long lasting one. Absolutely. And if you had to be another person for one day, who would it be and why? I've never thought of that question. That sounds bizarre to me. I guess it would be the younger version of myself. So if I could go back into my 20s or my 30s, that would have been, that'd be a lot of fun. That'd be a great day. <laughs> That's amazing. And what are your sort of like views on morning routines? You know, I am a single mom with a 13 year old boy. So I don't have, I know a lot of people have these beautiful morning routines and they meditate and they go for a run and, you know, it's not like that. So it depends on what's happening with my son's school or, you know, if we're in the pandemic or if, you know, I'm doing a day of podcasts that day or if I have a speaking engagement or if I'm in town or if I'm traveling, everything is very different every day in my business and having had to pivot my business during the pandemic has made it even more hectic because I'm learning how to, I, I launched a coaching program. I launched a video course. I launched a mentoring program. I'm launching a lot of new virtual programs and I haven't mastered how to automate everything and schedule everything. So it's been a lot of work and very overwhelming the past couple of months. So I, I would say do the best you can in your morning routine. That's what I do. <laughs> no, definitely definitely it's just important just about like even just uh trying to just fit in a, maybe a couple of minutes here and there to simply have something to start your day yeah for me it's just coffee and get it going <laughs> and you spoke briefly about just like how you want to be a younger version of yourself so what advice would you give to the younger version well depending on the time of my life that i would revisit myself, it would be a different message because there were different challenges at different areas of life, right? So in my 20s, I was an equity partner in a company in Michigan, and I was working seven days a week, 24 hours a day to accelerate revenues there. And if I could go back to me then, I would have had me realize how much leverage I had with that company since I was running the operation. And I would have had me pitch myself for a larger equity stake and equity share because the company ended up profiting $30 million. And I got a very small piece of that, even though I was the one that was there creating the value. So I would have encouraged myself to ask for more equity because I deserved it, but I didn't ask. And then if I went back to myself in my 30s, I would have 
talk to myself about, listen, you are around someone who is very negative and trying to put you down. You cannot tolerate this. Do not allow for it. Call her out in the most, you know, politically correct fashion and, 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 and be kind, but don't allow for someone to disrespect you or treat you badly ever. I think that's something that is so, so very important. It's something that many of us like just struggle with on a day-to-day basis, just being able to understand how much we are actually willing to tolerate. Yeah, I'm a big fan of don't tolerate any of it. You teach people how to treat you. So tell them that's yeah. not acceptable. And I, you know, I'm not going to be able to be in this environment, in this situation, work with you, whatever it may be, if you're going to speak to me that way. Mm, no, exactly. Definitely. It's just about like knowing your worth and what you're willing to stand for. Yeah. And could you share some advice for those who may be starting a brand new business and are starting to give up in the first couple of months? Oh gosh, you can't give up in the first couple of months. That's just, you know, clearly that'll be a fail. So instead I would challenge you to see how can you make it work, right? I mean, if your heart's in it and you love it, but you just haven't found out how to connect the dots yet, work harder, connect with more people, ask more questions, try something different, you know, assess and analyze what is working, where is it broken, what, what do you need to fix it, what person could help you fix it. You've got to really start asking yourself the questions, take the time to put the effort in. And yeah, anyone could walk away from something, but that means it probably doesn't mean much to you. That is definitely, definitely something really important, just being able to simply question like how much it really does mean to you, whether you're passionate about it and whether it's something that you really do want to take that step further. And what would you say has been like one of the biggest takeaways that you have from just being able to impact so many different lives? Well, there's a huge difference between being in a job for a paycheck versus having a career where you impact people's lives. Every day when you get messages from people, it makes you feel so motivated to keep working hard, to work harder, to create more content, to come up with more solutions for them versus when I was working for a paycheck, I was working for that money that I'd get every other two weeks and it it was much more empty. So, you know, give it a shot to live your purpose and your passion and see how much better you feel when you do it. Mm, that is definitely something that is really important. Then you're then able to see that shift in the amount of enthusiasm you have towards just waking up and simply trying to constantly improve your craft every day. Yes, definitely. And where can people find you if they'd like to find out about any upcoming things that you may have? My website is heathermonahan.com. My book is called Confidence Creator. It's on Amazon. It's on Audible. And my show is called Creating Confidence with Heather Monahan, and you can find it anywhere podcasts are found. And I'm at Heather Monahan on all social media platforms. <laughs> amazing. I really do urge that you listeners go and check her out. There's absolutely some amazing content on there. I'd like to thank you for coming on the Infancy Show today. Well, thanks for working with me on the time change. I appreciate your understanding. Uh, thank you. I'd also like to thank you listeners for sticking to the end. And if you guys have any questions, please do feel free to drop them below. And I hope you guys enjoy it. That's it from me. Bye.